Alba is a leading manufacturer of a wide range of appliances for photo studios worldwide. It offers five product lines to cover all the photographer's needs. Studio stands, ceiling rails, camera heads, background tables and a very modular assembly system, CombiTube. Forba has been developing its products since 1939. From then on, they have always been the leading state-of-the-art equipment. The realization of custom products is also one of our specialties. We'll take a look now at three museums making special use of our products. At the heart of Zurich, there's a Villa Blöhle, the Swiss Institute for Advanced Studies in Science and Technology of Arts. The focus of the studies is put on the history of art, its different technologies and art business. Here, all the works of art from Switzerland are registered and analysed. There is a restoration department with appliances for quick and precise analysis and a well-equipped photo studio for the cataloguing of the different works of art. Mr. Hartmann has welcomed us in his studio and shown us his way of working, explaining it to us. I'm the photographer of the Institute and my main objects are paintings, but we're also doing sculptures. I'm doing this for the Institute, for restoration, inventory, archiving, and also for galleries and museums. This very picture we took was made for the restoration department. It's made before the artwork's proper restoration, so as to see the before-after effect, the improvements made. This way you have the comparison. Sometimes these pictures are used for inventory too, if it's a Swiss work of art. I have a Foba studio stand, which I like very much. It's a very sturdy stand and you have good vertical and horizontal movements. It's quite heavy and you can fix it on the floor with the pedal. You can tilt it with the crank operated rotating platform. And then we have the Foba dual tilting head with which you can move on different levels. Furthermore, we have the Foba combi tube system to fix the lamps and the ceiling rail system here on the ceiling with which we can move the lamps back and forth. On the other side of the studio, where mostly sculptures are handled, there are the Foba pantographs on the ceiling rails. As the objects shot have very variable heights, they needed something to move the light swiftly up and down and all around the studio. The whole equipment has been bought by my predecessor and I've been here for four years now, so I guess it's been in use for about 15 years and is still working perfectly. As I said, we need these photos for the institute itself, to do an expertise, for example, and some clients get a paper from the archives, a proof that the painting is authentic. For the galleries and museums, we're doing mainly pictures for books, art books, brochures and adverts, along with everything else you can do. We also have many private clients asking for our services. I know Foba since I was doing my apprenticeship, from almost 30 years back, and it has always been a labor for quality, also in Germany, where I grew up. Every time I went in a studio for photography, I could find the combi tube system, because it's very sturdy, very flexible for usage, and you can screw it and mount it as you please. I remember the Foba tripod ball head the same way, each time you wanted something with high qualitative standards, you would pick FOBA. One thing I really appreciate about FOBA are the very special custom solutions for special problems they come up with. 
Last time they came, they managed to fix these tubes for the ceiling rail system in a way it wouldn't unlock itself anymore and still stay variable. This has really been done in a brilliant way. And right now, we're looking for a new solution for the Hasselblad plate, which doesn't fit this new Hasselblad type anymore. It's really a great plus to get unique and unusual solutions for one's needs, in a reasonable time frame and with good cooperation. I have to say, I'm quite thrilled by the FOBA products. What we see here is the Isla FOBA, used for the Institute's Restoration Department. Mrs. Beltinger, head of the Technology of Arts Department, makes daily use of the FOBA installations when doing specific analysis of paintings. The painting is put on the easel, which adjusts to it and clamps it softly. The height of the painting can also be adjusted easily thanks to the other knob of the easel. As you may notice, there is a big sliding rail just above the floor onto which a studio stand column is attached, running on ball bearings. Just underneath the ceiling, there is another such a rail for more secure movements. The stand can be brought right in front of the easel so that they are perfectly parallel. Then the crossbeam can be rotated in the right position and adjusted, so the microscope at the end of the beam is just where we need it. Along with the ceiling rails holding the lamps, we get perfect, comfortable and precise analysis of the texture of the surface area of the painting. Another way of analysing the paintings is to scan them with an infrared camera. Here the camera and its monitor are mounted on a Phobos studio stand. Thanks to its cast base, it runs very smoothly. It can be lifted and lowered easily with a pedal. Once the camera is brought onto the painting, the latter can be scanned very accurately with the smooth movements of the cross beam. This examination helps with the differentiation of the different layers of the painting. Like that, we can see whether the strokes are the original or a touch-up. All the analysis made with these installations are sample-free so you don't need to do a single scratch on the work of art. To put the investigations even further, there is one more thing to do. To analyse the different chemical components of a certain pigment of the painting. To help doing this, we have befitted the Institute with a special ceiling rail system mounted on the wall. On it, there is a plexiglass panel with a hole and markers. This panel can be moved and fixed on the ceiling rail to bring it in the right position in front of the painting. The heavy X-ray apparatus, mounted firmly on a custom studio stand with big wheels for a good mobility, is then moved towards the painting and adjusted to the markers. The X-rays will then pass exactly through the hole of the plexiglass panel, hitting the painting exactly on the spot desired. The pigment of that spot can then be examined.